All right, so before we get this video started, I did one of those live chats with I.E. Hunter. You can go check that out on his YouTube channel. I'm basically just running my mouth for about two hours. It was crazy. The time went by really quick. I don't expect you to watch two hours of that bullshit. I don't even expect you to watch all of this bullshit. But if you do want to see a two-hour video of me running my mouth and the first person to have the balls to have me on their live chat, well, then you need to go check that out. Now on the toy room, I'm trying to get all the shit off the ground, put it on these shelves, still trying to organize it. I don't think I'll ever be done, but it, it's getting, it's starting to come around, but there's still a lot of work left. So I went ahead and put all the McFarland shit that I have, opened it up, put it on the shelf. I was basically waiting to find this Gorilla Grodd for I could just kind of review him and all this other shit together because I didn't want to nickel and dime you guys with a, a shit ton of um, mediocre reviews. So I figured I'd just put it all together. As far as comparisons go, I don't know how much shit I'm actually going to pull out because that's going to take like forever. I know the majority of this stuff I've already did comparisons to, so you can check out back videos, I guess. I don't know. I'll pull some stuff out. We'll see how this video goes. Let's check this shit out. It's not the first time I've seen the side of you. I'm through and now you're walking on. All right, I'm going to try to get through this stack of toys as quick as possible. I want to take up more of your time than I have to. We're going to start right off with this Bat Motorcycle it was for the Metal Line. When they showed this, I thought it was really cool. When they first started doing the Metal Line, I also thought that was really cool because I wanted to get the Joker. There's the other Joker with the Hawkeye wings. I really wanted to get that Joker. When he did that, I was like, holy shit. This is, this is where we need to be, like that Batman who laughs. I was looking forward to that toy so much. I just love it to death. And now they just keep pumping out the metal figures. If you're like a really big DC fan, you're, you're probably loving every minute of this. I like DC. I don't love DC. I actually love Marvel. But I got to admit, like this, this stuff is way better than Marvel Legends. Like when you look at this stuff, like you got like original sculpt original sculpt original sculpt original sculpt reuse original 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 i think that's reuse new wings vinyl i love the vinyl thing i wish more people were doing it new like come on man like he's killing it with the original sculpts like that part of it is great the seven inch scale i'm still having a hard time getting used to that as far as the character selection, I think it's just absolute shit. I don't know who's calling the shots over there, but just Batman after Batman after Batman. If you're like a Batman fan and that's your thing, then this is like pure heaven for you to collect. I haven't got the Batman to go with this motorcycle yet. I've seen it many times in the store, but since I've seen it many times in the store, they showed that new one with the Plastic Man guitar. I haven't seen that one in the store. When I do, I'll go ahead and pick that up to go with this bike. The motorcycle looks actually really cool the motor actually does kind of look like a motor well yeah i guess he's got like a turbo on it on both sides like he tried it looks pretty cool i definitely like the skull on there it looks like the eyes are glow in the dark i tried to get it to glow in the dark i couldn't go to glow in the dark unless it's like a really shitty glow in the dark but either way the motorcycle looks amazing it's gonna look great on the shelf it does look really cool it actually rolls around the tires are rubber they it looks awesome like i can't wait to put a batman on this and actually put this up in display i don't know if i'm going to do like all my metal figures like together like in a little display or if i'm just going to kind of blend them in with all other batmans then you have this azrael like i saw this thing and i wasn't going to buy it went in there and i was like i don't know man I, it's, I mean it's a great toy it is like the articulation is pretty good the sculpt is amazing the seven inch scale is weird it does look it looks good like i, I can't knock it like i just wish that uh, marvel put this much love into their shit like it, that would be amazing the sculpt is good the cape is good it's actually a really good action figure like he does the, like the shitty ankle on there there's a few things that i don't like but for the most part i well the pins i don't like it seems like he's slightly improving. He's got like the rubber shorts on it. I love how he does that. The articulation on the ab crunch is really hidden. Looks really good. I saw this thing for 15 bucks. I said, screw it, I'll pick it up. If it was 20 bucks, I wouldn't have picked it up. It's worth 20 bucks. 
but I don't know. And then I've already pulled out my Azrael collection in past videos. So if you want to see that, go to that. I'm not going to drag out all the Azrael's for this video. It's just going to be way too long. Then basically you just have a bunch of um, Batman figures that were in the metal line. I don't know. Like, I know, like, because the, the, the green one here is obviously like a Batman version of Green Lantern. I'd never read metal. I'm never going to read metal. I mean, as far as my love for DC, it's basically Batman and like the classic Batman villains. And I kind of feel like I already have all that. So for him to like make more DC figures, it's like my DC itch has already been scratched. And this just isn't scratching my DC itch. Although this action figure is amazing, I also got this for 15 bucks on clearance. Otherwise, you wouldn't be looking at it. So for 15 bucks, it was a really good Batman. I actually really love the guns. I like how he did that. These are all together. He comes with guns that you can put in his hand. A grenade launcher so it's not like that bullshit nerf guns that uh hasbro gives you it's actually real guns so props to him for doing that once again the same bullshit on the articulation the same rubber cotch which i love look at all that work on that skull man god come on hasbro do shit like this they're so concerned about their christmas bonus to where I don't know. They always say they have a budget that they have to withhold. How come Todd doesn't have a budget that he has to withhold? He does whatever the fuck he wants. Granted, it's all Batman. But the, the action figures actually turn out really cool. Then you have another Batman. No clue who this guy is, but he does look really cool. I love the fluorescent orange and the fluorescent blue. It's kind of like KTM colors. That's probably why I got it. Nope, that's not why I got it. I got it because it was on sale for 15 bucks. I like how the tentacles plug in the hand. That's a cool little touch. I'm trying to figure like what version of what character made this and I don't know and I could look but who really gives a shit. It's a great looking action figure though for 15 bucks why not. Then you have this one which is obviously the green version lantern of him which I thought this was cool like just just the dragon alone is like worth having in your collection. Let me try to get a clear shot at that. It wraps around his arm. That thing is amazing. To have, like, that kind of accessory. Now, could you imagine if, like, the pyro action figure from Marvel Legends with the two-pack, if they would have did an accessory like this, like, they give you shit for accessories. Nothing. No flame, no nothing, no bullshit. If they would have given you something like this to go with that, that would have been amazing. But, once again, Hasbro doesn't do shit like this. He does. It just sucks that I'm a Marvel fan and not really a DC fan. Even though this is a great figure, other than the pins and the ankles, it's, I mean, if you're a DC fan, you got to be loving this shit. If you're already into the 7 inch scale, which if you're a DC fan, you're already used to the 7 inch scale because DC Collectibles was doing 7 inch scale like the whole freaking time. So this would kind of match, match what he has going there. So there's that one. And then you have the star of the show. When they made this, I was like, holy shit, that thing is is truly amazing it's like the doomsday version of batman i just thought that was great he's got an articulated jaw mine is like welded shut i know you're gonna say heat it up i'm like bro i ain't got time to heat my shit up if it doesn't work when it comes out of the package it just doesn't work i don't want to pull on it any harder than i already did it already felt like it's getting ready to, to pop off i've showed you my doomsday collection more times than i could count so i was thinking about pulling that out but once again i've did it too many times and this video is just going to be too long I also got this on clearance for 15 bucks. This for 15 bucks is an absolute steal. This thing sells out really quick. I've only seen it a couple times. It's just, if I wouldn't have got any of the other action figures in the set, I would have picked and choose. I kind of pick and choose with McFarlane. This is definitely one that I would have picked and choose. Even if I didn't see this thing on clearance, I would have got paid full price for 20 bucks, which is an absolute steal to get this for 20 bucks. Because if Hasbro made this, it would probably be 30 bucks, or it'd be like the Build-A-Figure. Who knows? There's, there's no way they're going to give you, like, if you compare this to The Thing, like, The Thing was actually a pretty good toy. I think this is kind of comparable with The Thing, but this is, like, the size of the Hulk, and then they, like, they charge you more for the Hulk. So, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, it's. Props to him for giving you this much toy for 20 bucks. I definitely like it. I love the action figure. I'm happy to have that in my collection. And then you have this set back here. Ty hooked me up with these. He said he actually had an extra set because I was like, man, like, when is this Metal Gear going to, metal, 
line going to end because I was like cool with it to get a few characters and then they just keep pumping it out and pumping it out and pumping it out, which is weird because when Marvel does it and they do the House of M, House of X, um, Age of Apocalypse, I just keep buying that shit. I don't love it when they do those spinoff lines, but I still kind of enjoy it, even though the, the toys that they're doing is like mediocre shit at best. Then you have this thing, like I was really looking forward to this. I do have the... The other Batman Who Laughs, I've already did a review on that. I don't really think I need to do a comparison. Everybody that's interested in that already has that one. I actually like the other one better without the wings, but Ty hooked me up with the set. They make three versions of this Robin, and I wanted to get three of them, and I've only seen him twice in the store, and both times that I saw him, he had this head sculpt on it. And I was like, what the shit? Like, I would like to get all three, even though that this thing's 20 bucks. I think that's... You know, when you get that for it, which this is kind of worth 20 bucks, but then you get that for 20 bucks. It seems like this isn't worth 20 bucks. I was hoping to get three of them, never saw them, so I have one of them, and now I'm just saying, you know what? I'm trying to spend less money on toys and not more money on toys. I'm trying to get rid of some toys just to make more room and just kind of make a cleaner, better display instead of a, um, like, just more and more and more, because that's just kind of what my collection is turning into is more, which I like it is crowded. It's fun to look at if you got like six hours to come in here and look at it. The Robin's great. The articulation's great. It's got that rubber on the mid section. That that articulation's great. The um, joints are like kind of clunky. The pen is whatever. Single knee. Who really gives a shit about the articulation? It's decent. It's not great. I didn't get this for articulation. I just got this because I wanted Robin. Who knows if I see the other two. I kind of have a hard time spending like 40 bucks to get two more of them. I don't know if I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Probably won't. I don't think I'll ever see him. It's the craziest thing. Like, with all this shit, like, when I go into Target, I went into Target today, or when I go in there to Target every day, this is what I see. I see, um, on the Marvel side, I see Frogman, which Frogman I absolutely loved, even though that was just a repaint of um, Doc Ock. I, I thought that was cool. I like when they do those obscure characters, even though they don't sell for shit. There's tons of Frogmans on the shelf. And that tells you that the majority of the people didn't like Frogman, which really sucks. And then you have the Shang Chai wave, which you knew that was going to sit. Like, because it's just a bunch of boring Asian characters. Not that I have anything against Asian. It's just a really boring line to collect. That shit is everywhere. And then you can still find the, what is it, House of X everywhere. Like, I'm not saying you can walk in and get a complete set. But if you drive around to a few stores, you can definitely put any of that shit together. And then on the DC side, when you walk in... There's just pegs and pegs and pegs and full of Batman. But for some reason, Todd just can't get off Batman's dick. Like, it's just more Batman, more Batman. Like, this shit, I am completely burnt out on your Batmans, Todd. Like, if you thought it was a great idea to make a shit ton of Batmans, go right ahead. And if you're a Batman fan, this is like your Christmas every day because he just keeps remaking them. And now he's doing the whole McFarlane thing with repainting them. So you'll just have an endless supply of Batman action figures which they are really good if you like the 7-inch scale and if you like the big clunky pins and if you like the shitty ankle rocker, which I think he's slightly improved in that shitty ankle rocker. But they're still really good action figures. And for 20 bucks, you know, why not? And it comes with a Build-A-Piece. That's actually a pretty good toy. Uh, lots, of, lots of bang for your buck. And then you have the Superman here, which I did see the Bizarro, and then I was going to get that. It, if it was like 15 bucks, I would have got that Bizarro. And then I came home, I looked at my Bizarros, and I was thinking, you know, like, I already got, like, I don't know, I got almost every Bizarro made. I got at least, like, five or six Bizarros, which I don't know if I've pulled those out. But I've definitely showed you that collection at some point. Um, this isn't Bizarro, it's Superman. I know it looks like Bizarro. It's just a weird story. I don't really understand it. The Bizarro is actually really cool. Still might get them if I see them for 15 bucks. This thing is just like whatever. It's like not a figure I ever was ever asking for, but I'm also not that big of a DC guy. Then you have the Batman who laughs, the Hawkman version, which this thing is really cool. But you already scratched that itch, Todd. Like, I was like, yeah, this is cool. Like, I'm glad that you did it. I'm glad that I have it. It looks really cool. But if I was going to do a display, I would do the one without wings with the Robins because I really wouldn't want to display two of these. But if this is your thing, this is a really cool option. It would have been nice if we would have given you the wings with the other one that you could display it with the wings or without the wings. It's kind of a hustle. But it was extremely hard to come by the first time. I don't know if I've... 
I maybe I saw it once or twice in the stores. So maybe him re-releasing this with the wings was actually a good idea. It's still a great toy, and I love having it in my collection. Moving right along here. Then you have the Build-A-Figure, which I thought this was great. Let me try to put him up on the scale. Oh, sorry for bumping the camera. That was my bad there. So he's like nine inches tall, which is absolutely amazing. Like that is really cool. Um, then you have Saigor here, which we'll get into Saigor in a minute because that was a huge disappointment. Um, back to this guy. Man, the ADD just totally kicked in on that. Sorry about that. I don't know. Is this like the Wonder Woman version of Batman? It is really cool. I love the blue. I love the plastic. I love the original sculpt. It's an, it's an amazing action figure. The sword is really cool. I don't know. Maybe he could give like Mattel a call and they could teach him how to do pinless joints because they taught Hasbro how to do them. They're actually doing a decent job when they actually want to apply themselves to doing a decent job. You got a little bit of the marble showing off the cheap plastics, which normally he has really good plastic on his. It's not like that soft, squishy shit that Hasbro uses. It's actually really good plastic. This thing looks amazing. If this is something that you were looking for, like he killed it. He definitely hit it out of the box. And then you have this Saigor. This thing... I keep, I love, I love the vinyl thing. I do. When you're doing a big character like this, which I think this is a little bit too big, but when you're doing a big character like that, what is it, like 14 inches tall, the, the, dude, the gorilla himself is like 11 inches tall, but then the top of the fist, 14. When you're doing big characters like this, I love the vinyl option. Like, I hope that he takes us over to spawn more. Hope he gets the scale a little bit better. Like, say if he does like a really big overkill or something like that. This is $20, $20 for this giant toy. Yeah, if you want to pose it, it's, it's, it's got one pose. Or if you move the joints, it's going to look like shit. And I'm totally cool with that. I just like that he gave us that option to have a big giant vinyl thing because I'm just going to throw that on the shelf and it's going to look amazing when it's on the shelf. You'll see it up there at some point with my, um, with my collection. So, Todd, thanks for doing that. Thanks for doing the vinyl. I know some people like it. I know some people hate it, which I'm actually one of the people that, that actually love that. I would wish that Hasbro would do shit like that, like say like a Mole Man monster. You could make like, if they could make this for 20 bucks, say you could make a Mole Man monster double that size for 40 bucks or 60 bucks, just stuff like that would be really cool. I know some people would hate on it. They say the articulation sucks, but who gives a shit? Because you're going to piss the majority of us off all the time anyway, so... Just go ahead and make me happy and, I don't know, fuck everybody else. Sorry about saying the F word. I told some guy I was going to try to stop saying that. Now we have this Gorilla Grodd. Let's pull out some comparisons for him. All right, I might have called him Cyborg. I could delete it. Or Cygore. Either way, he's Gorilla Grodd. Sorry if I fucked up the name, but, I mean, you get all these apes laying around. You can see how... I could easily get distracted and confused by it. I did go ahead and pull out the Gorilla Grodd collection for you could see all of them together and kind of see what I have working with. He's Gorilla Grodd. When Todd announced that he was making a Gorilla Grodd, I was like, holy shit. Now we're talking something cool, something I can get behind, something that I'm actually looking forward to running to the stores and trying to track this thing down and put it in my collection kind of like i am other stuff just not really the dc stuff but when he did this like it was like when he made that bane and that scarecrow figure that was something i was really really looking forward to this thing i was really looking forward to and i'm highly disappointed but we'll get into that in a second first off we'll go ahead and show you like these look you can see the scale of all the gorilla grods here put together let me go ahead and make a little room for Batman. One of the things that I don't like about it is the scale. I know he's Gorilla Grodd. He's been like really big before. He's like actually like the size of an ape right there. But this is one where I was like, Todd's going to kill it. He's going to make him like 10 inches tall. The thing's going to be amazing. Here's Batman right next to it. You can see they're both standing about seven and a quarter inches tall, which I'm not really digging the seven inch scale. But it, it is what it is. People keep telling him that they don't like the 7-inch scale, but he doesn't want to listen to the collectors. I mean, his shit's selling off the shelf. Not really the Batmans anymore because they're everywhere. But everything else is completely selling off the shelf. Here's the scale of it. The Batman, I don't know, man. I was just hoping for just a really, really giant size 
Gorilla Grodd. Not as big as that vinyl um, Sigor, but something definitely bigger than that. Let's go ahead and walk you through these DC collectible Gorilla Grods just because I just, I'm really proud of my Gorilla Grod collection. This thing is amazing. It came with the skull, has like the little brain pot on there. The articulation is, you know, it's like old school DC collectibles. It's good. It works. It gets the job done. They still have bulky pins and single articulation. It has like the cuts in the thigh there. It's a great looking action figure. I love to have that thing. I love having it on my shelf. Then you have this one. I'm pretty sure he's the one that came with the brain clampers. He just fell over. And he also, I'm pretty sure he also came with the skull. I know that these things have knocked over so many times. And I just kind of put the accessory with whatever. And he's got a little layer of, uh, you know, that collector snow on him. This also is really good. But if you know, put these two side by side, he's even smaller than that. I love how he's really big and fat. I think he looks really cool. If they were going to do a Gorilla Grodd, my favorite version of Gorilla Grodd ever was the version of Gorilla Grodd on the Flash TV series. That was amazing. I wish they would have made it more similar to that. Although the armor is cool, it's just kind of whatever. But there's another one, kind of like the same thing on the articulation there. And then you have, which I've showed it to you before, the neck of Gorilla Grodd. I know it's playing of the ace, but God, doesn't he look just like Gorilla Grodd? I figured I'd pull him out. Plus, I just wanted you to just so... When you actually really care about your product, not that I want to suck NECA's dick right now, but look at this. Look at this. No pins. Absolutely amazing. Just, just, just amazing. Like, then you have this. Like, I mean, I think Todd really does, does really good work, but look at these two toys together. This looks like a cheap Happy Meal toy compared to this. I don't know how much this was. It's like 20, 30 bucks. Basically, real similar to the same price. This is absolutely amazing. When you, when you pull out some NECA shit, you're like, God damn, they, look at that. They killed it. Penless, tons of articulation, better articulation, better looking, everything everywhere, better. That's why I had to pull them out. Like, I just love that. Look at that. Do you guys have this in your collection? If not, man, I, I don't know how much this Planet of the Ape neck and stuff is, but it's some of the best toys that I have. I really love it. Then you have another DC collectible. God, it looks so similar to this one. It's like, are they the same? There goes that skull again. Yeah, they're like the same, but this one's got an open mouth and this one's got a closed mouth. Man, they saw me coming. This is like some McFarland shit here where they just keep repainting and keep reselling it. This is how like, I forget where the skull went because I keep dropping this shit. Then you have this one. You have the military hat on. It would have been cool if the military hat came off because I don't really love it. I don't remember this version of him where he had this outfit on. But hey, he's got a rifle. He looks cool. I don't even know if this is Gorilla Grog. It might be like a sidekick or something. I don't know. I'm sure one of you guys will let me know in the comments. Then you have... One more Gorilla Grot. Oh, come on. How many of you guys got this thing in your collection? You know when it's got that nice glossy look, like the like the plastic is turning and turning back to its natural form of gasoline or oil? Well, that's what this is doing. I got a few action figures on the toy room that's doing that. Hopefully, Todd stuff doesn't do that. It actually seems like he uses pretty good um, plastic, so I don't think that it will. As far as the articulation thing goes on this, like, look at this thing. Look at that. This is... um from the animated hellboy set it was extremely hard to come by i've never seen it on the shelf my boy broccoli i think came up on one for me and i was lucky enough to put it in my collection i think this thing like instantly went to like a hundred dollars on ebay it was like 20 30 bucks i just look at this i just absolutely love it man you pull out some of your old shit and you're just like damn that that is solid man i i, I love that like i wish i was as stoked for this as I was for this or for this but then when I got this it's just kind of like whatever you know like when you go to taco or um when you go to McDonald's and then you're sitting there looking at you at the board and you see that double stack flail fish and you're like oh my god it looks amazing it looks just like this and you're like whoo I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get some fries I'm probably going to get it like, like, a, like a Sunday, but the, the, the machine's not going to be working. But look at this one. I remember when they showed this picture. Let me try to hold this thing without it shaking. 
Look at that. Look at that gold plastic. Like, just look at that. God, that thing looks so amazing. I don't even know if you can stand like that. Like, one leg up, one down. And then you have this. Like, when I saw this, I was like, oh, wow. That, that's amazing. Then I saw this today at Target. Walked around the corner. I was like, there it is. I'm like, man, it's, you know, I felt like my girlfriend when she saw it for the first time. She's like, well, that's a lot smaller than what I was expecting. And, well, maybe size doesn't matter. And then I looked at it. And I was like, God, that gold plastic is, like, really cheap. Like, he killed the gold plastic on that Wonder Woman that's on clearance everywhere that nobody wanted for that flop movie that nobody saw that... The movies were closed anyways, and then I went and saw it, and I was like, oh, my God, that was really bad, and I told Toy Shows to save his money. I don't even know if he's seen it yet. But then you have this. The plastic is shit. The action figure itself is, like, okay. Like, when you got this to compare, look at these two next to each other. When you got this, like, if this is out here, and you got all these other Gorilla Grads out here, the bar has been set. If you're not going to beat this, don't make a Gorilla. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, his, um... Old cyborg figures were better than this. Then they did the variant of this with the silver armor. I've never seen it. If I see it, I don't, I know, I don't even know if I'll buy it. Because I looked at this, and I'm like, yeah, I really don't think I need the other one. I look at this, and I'm like, I did one in my collection. I do love it. I'm happy to have it in my collection. But I'm a little underwhelmed with it. It just doesn't, it just doesn't really pop. Like the gold armor, if it looked... I know gold's hard, gold's expensive, but he did it on Wonder Woman, then he didn't do it with this, and I just see that, and I was like, wow. And then I saw this, and I was like, no. And then if you see the gray one, which I've seen the gray one, that like it stores and stuff, like overpriced, like 100 bucks, and then that gray plastic looks just as cheap as this. I think this is it. Maybe a couple pictures, maybe a bonus video of me like dancing on a stripper pole or something. Thanks for watching.